An exhibition by the late Jean-Michel Basquiat opens in London's Barbican Art Gallery this week. The New Yorker has been described as the most collected artist by musicians, sports people and actors. And it seems he has another fan in Banksy who's painted two murals close to the exhibition site. The artist claimed responsibility for the work via social media, calling it an unofficial collaboration with Basquiat. Well, joining me to discuss this further is our very own Miranda Addy. Miranda, it's always exciting to see new art pieces come up. What message do you think Banksy was trying to send? Well, it's worth raising the point, uh, drawing on the similarities between Banksy and Basquiat. So, of course, Basquiat is now probably best known for his canvases, but he started life as a graffiti artist. Mm -hmm. um, the tag Samo around New York was his um, with, with a colleague. And so you can, you can see the similarities between them in style. You can see the similarities between them in the, um, kind of in the thematic, um, I suppose, art that they produce. It's very raw, it's very real, it's very political. Mm -hmm. And this is the message, I think, that uh, Banksy was trying to get across. Do you think that Banksy's work is, is slowly changing from political and socially conscious to other things, or do you think that it's all an illusion? I think that definitely his work may be shifting to be less political in the way that it's directed at governments or mm -hmm. politicians. Well, having said that, his last uh, work was actually directed at Brexit, so yeah. that could be a comment on the whole of the UK. <laughs> um, but when we look at these two pieces in particular, he's still being very socially conscious. He's mm -hmm. still saying something very important. But I think that he's kind of shifted focus perhaps away from politics and he's looking at institutions. He's looking at the whole idea of the art system. And I think that he's looking at kind of what gallerists, artists, um, together can can achieve and this idea that we, we can't uh, just appreciate street art when it's manageable and when it's contained. The point of street art is that it's on the streets. Mm -hmm. What about his relevance? Do you think that he's losing his importance day by day or does his art still matter? Well, as, as we know, Banksy is probably one of the most influential, probably the, the most influential street artist yeah. that we've pretty much ever had and he's always kept his anonymity and I think that's probably helped him kind of keep this mystique and be interesting for people. Can you speak about the art piece of it itself? Absolutely. So one of the, there's two art pieces and one of them is kind of an homage to one of Basquiat's pieces. It's also a comment on institutional racism. So we have um, an image of a boy mm -hmm. watched by a dog, which we've seen in Basquiat's original. And then there's two policemen um, on either side of the boy kind of questioning him. And this, uh, obviously we know Basquiat is, was a black man. It's kind of all this idea of, of institutional racism, which is a real problem in the UK. And the second piece is um, a Ferris wheel, but instead of passenger cars, there's crowns, which were one of the main motifs in Basquiat's work. Well, it does seem like he added yet another interesting piece to his collection. Thank you so much, Miranda, for a great review there.